Thank you. I now give the floor for a joint statement by the International Service for Human Rights. Mr. President, this is a joint statement of International Service for Human Rights and the Southern Africa Human Rights Defenders Network. On 22 October 2020, Mem Njangazi, who was 63 years old, was preparing dinner for her family when two gunmen invaded her home in KwaZulu Natal, South Africa, ending her life with six bullets. She used to say, I cannot sell out my people, and if need be, I will die for my people. Mem Figile was at the forefront of challenging the unlawful expansion of coal mine in her community, which threatens the eviction of more than 18 families. She was murdered in front of her grandson, Buile, who was only 13 years old at the time. No one has been held accountable for her murder. In this context of impunity, her community continues to live in fear, wondering who is next. Weeks before Mam Fegile was killed, she knew that her life was in danger and reported the matter to the police. This was in vain as no steps were taken to guarantee her protection. The situation of human rights defenders in South Africa, particularly those working to defend land and environmental rights, is alarming. In rural areas where defenders fight against abuses by powerful corporations, including in the mining sector, defenders are increasingly at risk with the government failing to guarantee them protection. We welcome South Africa's adoption of recommendations to take effective measures to ensure accountability, including the establishment of a commission of inquiry into the killings of HRDs and activists and inviting the special rapporteur on HRDs to visit the country. The time to implement these recommendations is now.